Good morning, my fellow yoga travelers. I'm back. Mighty glad to be live today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, and loaf, and live the life we love. <clears throat> you know, I'm Poetry Man on Monday, and I love this idea. We've all made vows, New Year's resolutions, and not kept them. But as Rumi says in his poem, Caravan of Despair, come wanderers, worshipers, lovers of leaving, Ours is not a caravan of despair. Even if you've broken your vow a thousand times, come, come again. So we're welcome in this uh, medicine dance around the fire. And uh, the first idea, the broad idea behind everything I'm saying is incline your mind towards well-being. I'm not naive to think that we can just sit around in a circle, sing Kumbaya and everything will be fine. But first ethically, Follow what they call the bliss of blamelessness. Be a good human being. Put out the best vibe you can in your interactions with other people. And I know that sometimes all this talk of well-being seems so disconnected from what's going on in the world. But when you focus only on the terrible things, overlooking the beauty and goodness that's there, uh, that pulls you back into a despairing state. So if you only see the worst, it destroys your capacity to want to even do something. You feel like paralyzed. So this is where what I call the art of deliberate creation comes in. How you have to choose a point as your point of focus and not let yourself be pulled in two different directions because there are so many other forces pulling on us to make us not stay with our own path, and stay in our own lane, in our own dharma, you could say. So the important thing is to understand what it means to have a fresh approach to things, which is called beginner's mind in Zen. Like they say, in the beginner's mind, there's many possibilities. In the master's mind, there's few. In your left brain, there's, of course, the beginner doesn't know anything. The master's been there, knows everything. But that's not the way to see it. In the right brain understanding, the beginner's mind is the one that you want to maintain, where you're open to everything, ready for anything. The master is the smug arrogance, thinks it knows because it has some smattering of experience. And the hardest thing is, once you have some experience, is to be able to go back to the, to the beginner's mind and not get too inflated or as they would say in, psych in psychology, you get inflated when your ego gets expanded. So how do you do that? Find your center. If you don't have a center, you wobble when you walk. It's called the oxus mundi in mythological terminology. The world navel, the cosmic tree. This is the place from which all creation origins flow from. And then is to recognize, to see your own religion as mythology. See, we see other people's religion as mythology, and we think our own religion is historically and literally true. And uh, these kind of comparings just create hate between people. Uh, to work on all levels, you have to understand the tremendous amount of cross influences that exist in the world today that was impossible 100 years ago, let alone 1,000 years ago. So we're moving in the right direction, although it seems really slow and still filled with injustice and a lot of uh, uh, racial hatred but our job as ambassadors of goodwill is to overcome that in our own life and be the model for that with every single person we meet to the extent that we can. Because they say, if you don't learn from history, you're destined to repeat it. So first learn from our own history. What mistakes have each one of us made that we have to rectify by not doing that and going, charting a different course, you could say. And so uh, my studies have taught me to include a total picture of all races, all religions, to try to understand if it's possible. What is the spiritual norm of humanity? What is the reaching out that we all yearn for, desire for, and most important, how can we put it into play and realizing the other is not other. It's us in a different form. So if we understand that, there's certainly a chance for us to move forward into a kind of globalization where the different colors, the code of many colors, we respect everybody's difference, and yet at the same time, we recognize the unity behind it all. Uh, Wednesday is our next Good Vibrations class, 11 to 1. Go to gabrielhalpern.com and sign up for that. Love to have you join us. Uh, contact me. Let me know how you think I'm doing. Remember, anybody who asks for I'll send you a free CD. And uh, love to keep the, the dialogue going. Have a great day.